Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started because uh, we have a lot to cover today. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is kind of hit the game plan for the weekend and then the game plan for the break between now and next time we meet. And then I'm going to talk about genetic algorithms. Then we're going to have a lunch. Then we're going to come back and talk about prologue later on. So what, am I, what you're looking at right now is the calendar. And this is the weekend of uh, today's the 21st. So we have next weekend off. There's nothing going on. And then there's another weekend when there's nothing going on for this, for this course. And then we come back, and on the 8th, we have a bunch of assignments due. So it's three weeks away. Uh, so you have three-week break between this weekend and the following weekend. And we have, according to the syllabus, we have one, two, three, four assignments that are going to be due. So I'm going to go over the assignments right now and then um, kind of leave you with uh, the third assignment, which is the genetic algorithms assignment, uh, which is not too hard, actually. The assignments are pretty reasonably, um, reasonably planned out. Did you want to catch, did you want to catch these guys? Yeah. And uh, so I'll go over the assignments and the deliverables that are going to be due on November 8th. And then uh, we'll continue forward and I'll we'll, uh, kind of hit the information that's needed for that. <clears throat> so assignment number one is pretty reasonable. Assignment number one is uh, five. The, the, the assignments themselves um, have only questions in them. They're not too bad. The first assignment is really going over what we covered on Friday. It is on um, the differences between thinking rationally, acting rationally, the Turing test, um, issues with what is artificial intelligence. Hopefully you can see that up there. And this one does not require a lot of writing. It is a couple of sentences each for each one of the questions. <coughs> and um, as an example here, answer the following question. Is AI described as thinking humanly, thinking rationally? And this is basically coming out of the first four lectures, well, the first two lectures of the course. Um, question number two, detail the environments. The environments that are referred to here are the environments that are in lecture, lecture numbers one and two. And then uh, around number question number three here, you might need the textbook for question number three, strong AI versus weak AI, which is described in the textbook. And then number four is getting into the concept of the rational agent. So it's very similar to what we've been doing in class for the first two days. It's going over the concept of agents and rational behavior. What is AI? What's considered strong AI? What's considered weak AI? Et cetera and so forth. Um, so that's really assignment number one. Assignment number two is on the concept of genetic algorithms. And that's the one we're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about uh, today. And I'll review this assignment when I start the genetic algorithm lecture. So just keep that one in mind. It's not so hard. It sounds like it's really hard, but it really isn't. You're not writing a genetic algorithm. You're giving me some pseudocode is what you're going to do for that. Assignment number three is uh, not so bad. It's on scheme actually, and this is the scheme that we looked at yesterday. So some of you have actually done this assignment already because I've seen some, some people working on it. It's just writing three more scheme functions, and uh, it's writing a scheme function that will return, you know, if this is this and this, and this might actually look kind of familiar, a recursive function that gets the element. This is really assignment number three, uh, which is very similar to what we've done already, uh, which was what we were working on yesterday. Assignment number four, last but not least, can we keep the volume down so I don't have to yell, is on prologue. And prologue I'll be talking about after lunch today. So we'll be having everything you need to know for prologue. And the assignment itself seems kind of long, but it's really just a description of prologue. And then at the end, it's going to ask you to put together a family tree that's associated with it. It's not too hard, actually. It's pretty easy. So the assignments for the course are rather easy. The midterm for the course, however, which is also due in three weeks, is um, a little bit more challenging. The midterm's probably going to take you, because it's a significant number of points versus the assignments, it's probably going to take you a little bit more time. You're going to look at uh, a crossword puzzle and then you know the, the concept of fitting stuff into a grid. Um, and then you'll, you'll have to come up with a specify a heuristic function if you need one uh, to help you solve the problem. And looking at Chapter 4 of the textbook for informed searches and exploration is going to help you with that. You're going to need the textbook for the midterm. 
there's no way you're going to be able to do the midterm without reading the textbook. So just an FYI on that one, you probably want to start, you know, on your flight home, whatever, start reading that book. That's going to help you. Um, otherwise, it's going to be a really hard midterm for you to do. It is a take-home midterm, however. Open book, open notes. However, you have to do it yourself. Don't work in groups on this either. Um, part of it is also looking at game theory, which is going to be a little bit farther ahead. Uh, so by the end of today, I'll tell you which chapters you're supposed to read. But it's a significant chunk because it's right through the midterm, almost up to the final. And if you do the reading, that will help you for the final exam that you're going to take when you come back on the weekend of June or November 8th or 9th. Um, November 8th, 9th, and 10th weekend, I believe it is. <clears throat> but this is going to go through graphing and things, and the lectures are really going to help you with this, but the textbook reading is what you need. And it's actually the same examples that are in the lecture. So that's the midterm. So those are the deliverables. So you're going to have to do assignments number one through four that are due. And then uh, the midterm exam will be handed out at the end of the first weekend. Well, I'm just showing it to you right now, actually. That's the one. And it's going to be posted in the EMS, and it's going to be due by November 8th as well. Uh, so if you take a look at the bhecker.com website, you'll see in the artificial intelligence category down here where it says assignments you'll see the assignments the midterm exam is clickable you'll see it it's also in the EMS the due dates are set for November 8th in the assignments category you'll see this lecture here called genetic algorithms this is the one I'm going to go over next so this is where we're going to find the materials for the lecture that I'm going to go over and the rest of them um, I have covered through the other lectures. So this is the only one that's kind of separated out so that you can find it quickly. Because you'll probably want to look at it again in terms of what you need to do for that assignment. So, Questions about the assignments that are due? All of them are due before November 8th, which is the second weekend. So yesterday I was thinking, you know, maybe I should alter something and looking at it. And then in terms of looking at the assignments and stuff, I went through everything and kind of went, eh, it's kind of easy. There's nothing I need to take away. Unfortunately, some of you are taking the Oracle class with the Artificial Intelligence class, and the weekends are back-to-back. -back. Nothing I can do about that. It's just bad timing. <laughs> I can't change the assignments. I can't change the deliverables. Um, it has to be the way it's been set from the beginning. So... Unfortunately, we have things back to back this term, and we have things three days straight. But next term, we'll make sure that they're spread out a little bit more. So if you take it, it's hopefully this will be the last term that has back to back weekends like that. And they're three day weekends, too. So, well, anyway, long story short, I'm trying to make the exams as reasonably uh, as straightforward as possible. And then all of the exams for both courses will be multiple choice as well. So, and we'll spend some time on the Saturdays before the Sunday going over what's on the exam. So hopefully you'll be prepared for the exams on Sunday. So you don't have to do that much exam prep outside of the class. If you do the assignments for both classes, you'll be prepped for the exam. So it's a matter of just being able to do the assignments and the exams will be based on the assignments. So it won't be too, won't be too taxing. So I'm gonna hopefully make it so it's doable without too much stress for the back-to-back -back weekends. Any other questions or questions at all before we start with the genetic algorithm topic for today? Nope. All right. So you guys are either you're half asleep or you're uh, <laughs> you're set to go. So I'm going to stop this video.